Black History Month. Happy. This is our first time together in the new year for some of us. This is the first time to grow voices for some of us. This is the first time we've had new members who joined since the last time we're together. So we have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And of course, people work and job things come up, but some are still on their way, but you're here. And that's what's most important. Let me tell you who I am. And as handouts are being passed out, and uh, we'll be presenting some wonderful people in just a few moments. But we want to welcome you to Pro Voice Pro Boss. We are intentional about bringing women of color leaders together, black, Latino, Asian, Americans and Native Americans who are often overlooked and we come together every other month for what we call the gatherings in both Tri-State New York, so that's New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, and the DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And so we started about five years ago when I came out of government uh, working for President Obama and we looked at the terrain and there were so few places we had Black women's organizations, we had Latino women's organizations, we had black men in our organizations, but we didn't have anything where we were intentional about crossing over. And so Sheryl Sandberg was hot at that time, and she was talking about lean in. And my thing was, we can't lean in until we get in. So was, we've been taught about success, but what we haven't had much of is access. And so what we try to do is help women not give you voice, because we have voices, but we amplify the voices of women. And we try to make sure that there are three C's in every meeting, connections, celebrations, and conversations. So we've had conversations across the aisle. We've had Democrat and Republicans right after President number 45 won. We had people from who had been on the campaign team for him. And we had people who had been on the campaign trail for Hillary at the senior level. And they had never been together. These were black and Latino women. And we had a round table discussion about what it was like, what are you thinking, what was it like being around that candidate. We crossed the aisles. We've had Democrats and Republicans. We've had black and white and Asian and, and black and all of the different ethnicities. Because we're about building bridges and not building walls. And so we have come together. Um, this is our first meeting in the DMV. We just met in Tri-State New York. In December here in the DMV, we have what was called the Holiday Award Receptions at the University Club. And we honored five outstanding women. A couple of them are Pro Voice members. Uh, Sullivan Robinson, who deals with the faith-based community and health. But the, our last one was the Honorable Eleanor Holmes Norton. And at the end of each of our meetings, which we call gatherings, we have an interview with an outstanding woman. And so she was the woman. And then we open up for questions and answers. What it allows us to do is sit at the feet, because wisdom, wealth, and wellness are also part of our themes. But it allows us to sit at the feet and sit with, sit amongst women who are doing some dynamic things. And we're all in the same city. A new person may have arrived. A new person may have started a business. And just needs to know some other professionals, some other sisters, Hear what's going on. So that's who's in the room. So part of what we do is called who's in the room. But we'll tell you about that after we get started because we're also a Christian organization. We are undergirded by faith. That's and particularly in Black History Month, you know, the black church is really, really important in our faith. However you got here, somebody was in somebody's church at some point in life. If not you, your mama, your grandmama, your granddaddy. And so we have a wonderful faith part of our, our presentation as well. So my co-host is also a minister, and she's here in the DMV, Dr. Caritha Crawford. And we always begin in some form of ministry, prayer, or dance. And so I'm going to invite her to open us with prayer. She's going to introduce our presentation and dance tonight. Can we welcome her? Yeah. 